Today, I'm gonna show you how to change a connector on a LiPo and do it safely. So this is a very dangerous thing to do. So if you don't do it properly, you could ruin your battery or worse, even hurt yourself. So I'm gonna show you how to properly do this. And some of the things that you will need are obviously a soldering iron, some solder, some flux really helps a lot to solder properly. You'll also be helped a lot by some handy hands. You will need your connector, obviously, that you're changing it to and make sure it is the right side. Uh, you want the female lead of an XT60 if that's what you're changing it to or whatever that would be, like a Dean's or whatever you want to change it to. For most people in the Nerf hobby, we use XT60 connectors because most batteries come with that and all my blasters are wired up for XT60. So that's what I'll be changing it to. And then you will want to have some heat shrink. Now make sure that is properly sized and I have a few different sizes and that's not necessary. The larger sizes aren't super necessary. It just makes it look a little nicer and protects it a little bit more. And we'll get to that here in a minute. You will also need wire cutters and strippers, obviously. So let's get started. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna move our battery over here and we are going to tin our connector. So I like to use a little toothpick to kind of get the rosin and put in here to kind of allow it to take solder better. So we will go ahead and put some rosin in here, help with that. Not super necessary, but it does help. I find that rosin helps a ton. And then we will take our solder and our soldering iron. And we will put some solder into those holes. And until it gets, to, gets it to flow, we'll do the same thing on this side. There we go. That's all you have to do. All right, we'll move that over here for now and we will take a look at our LiPo. Now we want to start with one wire and I'll, the green is positive on this battery. So we will start there and if you want to shorten your leads then you need to figure out how short you want them. If you want them as long as possible, obviously you're gonna cut more towards the end. I kind of want this a little shorter so I'm gonna cut it about the same length actually as my balance lead here. So I'll cut it about right there. And you can cut with these or you can have some wire snips. It really doesn't matter. But you wanna cut just one wire. Do not cut both wires at the same time, please. That is the worst thing you could possibly do. We are cutting one wire and one wire only. So we're gonna cut this wire move this out of the way. We are not gonna cut the black wire yet. We just cut one wire. Now we are going to, going to strip this wire and you don't wanna strip off too much because then you just have to insulate more. And there we go, pretty good. And then we will twist that, okay. And we are going to tin this now. I'm gonna actually flip this around because I don't wanna connect it to the wrong side. And that is the positive, so you wanna have the positive lined up there. But we're gonna go ahead and get our rosin again. And I just actually just stick the cord down in there a little bit. That's just the easiest way to do it for me. And then I kind of rub it around on there. And then we are going to tin this. There we go melts in there real nicely and then we are going to put our insulation on we have to cut this so it might help to have a pair of scissors or something if you need to cut your heat shrink put that on so we got our heat shrink on and now we're going to go ahead and put these together sometimes I Use my hands to kind of hold it together and then we're just going to solder those together. There we go. Go 
go ahead and move the small shrink wrap into place. Okay. And you will need something to heat, to shrink this with. You could use your soldering iron. I prefer either a heat gun or a lighter. A lighter is really easy to use. So I guess that's one other thing you'll need. I knew I'd forget a few things. And there's that. So we have that one on. And now we need to do the exact same thing with the black wire. I'm going to put this on here. That'll give it a little more support. And then I also like to put a piece covering the connector and that uh, just to add a little more support. This is not necessary. And there we go. You are done. Hopefully that helped out. If you're curious on what perfect size insulation goes over the XT60 connector. I think this is 13 millimeters, I believe. So there you go. I will link all the necessary tools in the description box. Thank you guys so much for watching. I greatly appreciate your viewership. If you learned something from this video, please smash that like button, subscribe, and as always guys, peace out.